Okay guys, welcome to the series, this is the first one in the series, um, if you need any information on where to get the the, um, the turnaround concept art and all that, please go to the introduction video before this one, that is going to give you the link to the turnaround and everything else we need to do. Um, if you haven't done Blender before, I highly recommend the Blender Guru video tutorial series for beginners it is the best one you'll find out um, right now um, I think it's about eight videos long but it teaches you the basics and everything you'll need to do this um, I also recommend Daniel Creer um, I really butchered that last name he's also extremely good on making anime characters and all that he's also very good to watch um, but let's get started now uh, first things first what we're gonna do is we want to open up the properties panel we want to set our background okay that image you had to download from the uh, deviant art page would be this one you go to where that is you find it on your um, computer wherever you saved it and you just load it in okay it's going to be like this here okay uh, get get that like this here I like to make work on a nice big model I like to shrink them down when I'm done but uh, fudging out uh, num lock okay nice and big I hit that to size 50 uh, looks like the front is fine minimize this you just hit this to front add image do that you're gonna open up the next one you're gonna press 3 on your keypad not on the top of your thing on the keypad on the side you want to make it the same size which is 50 it's over there now you want to shift it so all you're gonna need for the for this reference here I like to have it just before the ear because the ear is where the jawline likes to go. Um, you'll see in a later video why I do this. Let's see, that looks fine to me. Um, if you're getting lost, please follow the screencast keys over here. I always, I've just started using this now, but it should show you everything I'm doing if I miss something. Um, three is to look on the right front one is to look on the front you need to set this here to the right which would be there so that would be your reference okay um, if you want it brighter let's put it on 0 0.8 doesn't really make that much of a difference but let's just keep it equal 0 0.8 if you want it on one it's fine um, shouldn't be a problem you press N to close that don't press okay shift a what we want to do is now we want to circle we want to press T to open up the toolbar the toolbox bar we want to set this vertices here to 12 okay it's how I work you don't have to but it's how I end up working it does extremely well for me scale X scale on the X axis okay press 3 GY huh scale in a bit scale out a bit GY like that yeah, should be fine huh. now we hit into edit mode um, you can press tab to go into object to edit mode um, or you can come click here and change it to what mode you'd like here but for now we want edit mode um, let's just press 1 to come to forward view press 8 three times so you can see it like this the vertices I'm highlighting, highlighting here you press shift and right click all of them and you press X and you want to delete those vertices um, for the obvious reasons what we want to do is we want to add a mirror modifier okay 
for now you want to turn on clipping you want to click this here okay you're gonna what the mirror modifier does is it whatever it does on that side does like that all right easiest and simplest way to do it okay uh, let's see while we're here we might as well add a subdivision surface modifier let me go back into let me remove that first let me just do that slower okay subdivision surface modifier right here you want to just bring the render down to one and the view down to one this will effectively smooth it out your model without you adding unnecessary vertices so you can just focus on the modeling okay so what we want to do is just uh, I like to use it on that there okay we want to press A to select all of them press E to I think let's go down a bit first okay press 3 to come back here we're going to be switching between the front and the right view this whole time okay press G Y scale on the y-axis there we go the key to 3d animation is to think that you're tracing your reference in a 3d environment uh, rotate like this there we go scale y okay sorry about the dogs barking looks like they're making a bit of a noise now um, you'll see how the light is reflecting off it now to get that away you hit smooth shading Okay You'll get that by pressing the T bar in your object mode. It won't show up in edit mode So you need to make sure you're in object mode and you hit smooth shading Okay, let's get rid of that. So we have a nice full view of our model You press Z to go into wireframe mode just to see what how you're tracing Let's just scale X in a bit. Scale X here. Press E. It's true to the. Okay. Scale Y. GZ. Okay. GY. Nice, nice, nice. This is looking very nice. Okay. Um, let's see. I think let's focus on the legs for a moment now on the legs it's not that hard you want to select these two vertices here and those two vertices there you're going to hit F to fill it in control R under here okay you want that line there that moving orange line you want it okay you want it in the middle press J J G Z bring it all the way down okay you want to scale this in as well as much as possible on the x-axis okay that should be fine and then you're going to hit 3 to come this side you're going to control R and you're going to click over here G Y okay bring out the buttocks control R again and we're just shaping it out Okay, uh, that is not looking too bad. I think maybe if we just add one, nah, that, that means the butt's going out too much here. Okay, so control Z, Z, Z. The butt is out a bit too much here. Okay, so far the model doesn't look too bad. I want to hit Alt right click on everything EZ okay GX just scale just move them away from each other now everything is a very uneven yeah and it looks very messy what you want to do is scale on the Z axis okay so you can even everything out okay that doesn't look too bad now you're gonna just play some freaking you're going to just try and round these off a bit. Okay. Contra um, to get to this view, sorry, I'm sometimes a bit forgetful. To get to this view, control 7. Control will always give you the opposite one. If you hit 
this view here and hit control 1 you're going to go in the back control 3 is the left view 1 is the front view so it's always going to be the direct opposite one 7 will face you from the top Ooh, okay if I miss something please let me know in the comments and I will sort it out for you GX okay GX that um, okay Con that what I did there was a control R it's an uh, edge loop it's a nice way to also get the the shape of the hips in okay now we want to scale Y G Y scale Y G Y scale Y there we go nice okay let's just bring this down to this piece here where the pants are um, huh. now we do, now we just got to trace the legs um, because of the mirror modifier effectively we're just modeling half this thing the computer is modeling the other half it's following your exact movements so let's do this E Z press Z for that scale Y okay we're here by the kneecap right this here is where the knee would be GX just keep following the lines uh, this might be. hey yeah <laughs> scale X uh, scale X a little bit rotate that a bit that should be fine shape looks fine that looks fine there um, huh so I just want to scale Y this in a bit okay too bad. It's just GG. 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 Let's see. Oh, that took away some of the shape there. Eh? Okay, one those ones selected there. GX. Okay. Well, that was nice thick thighs. Okay. Press E again. You just want the kneecap to be defined with your vertices for when we rig it. Um, you'll see why when why we do it um, later. G, um, e Z. Okay. Rotate. G Y. Okay. Scale X. Uh, that should be fine. Control R. G G. Okay. You want it up here. G Go. Um, scale Y. Scale Y. Okay, that's the legs there. Those are nice. Uh, those are nice defined legs. Uh, okay, what we want to do is uh, shape the butt a bit. So up and we should be fine. Hmm. E Z. Okay. Scale Y. Okay. And then you want to pick these three vertices here. G Y. Just fill out the shape of the breast. Okay. Control R here if you don't have the right shape. G Y. You could see how it adds tracing the model the um, 3d reference Ugh, bloody hell now you don't have if you like to do something different to your models 
from mine because like I'm I didn't add a a a to the character or anything because that's something we can have creative freedom over a little bit later in the process G Y and um, it, it's just this is really part of how I do things and just make sure that the, this vertice these this loop here is under the arms it will sm save you some grief a bit later G Y scale Y okay rotate okay S G X scale X G X okay now rotate now the um, this 3d mesh that I've given you guys is of a 3d model that I've already made so its proportions are perfect from the front to the side so you shouldn't have any problems with having to adjust your your reference other than just left and right okay uh, I think let's it should we let's just double check this uh, this looks fine if we could just define Rest a bit, GY. And um, press one. Uh, just shift left click and GG. Click that. Press three, GY. Uh, was that a mistake? Uh, not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Um, all we're going to do is get the neck in for this one. Scale X, EZ. Scale X, nice. Rotate, G. Okay, there we go. And, um, yeah, that's it. We did quite well for the first one. What I'd recommend you do is you save everything we do in a folder. So you come File, Save As. I need to come into this Blender 3D Anime Girl. Rename it Blender. You know what? 3D Anime Girl Tutorial. Okay, save it. Never forget to save. <laughs> and um, if you like the series, by all means, I will be making more. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.